In organic field crop production, as with conventional production, weed management starts... Do you get good yields? Are you satisfied with what you earn? Increase harvest and have better earnings through following the Atlas Fertilizer Package of Technology for Corn. Proper management and technology produces healthier corn crops and a bountiful harvest. Land preparation would take two to three weeks depending on the availability of water. This can be done as early as right after harvesting or for rain fed, even after a single rainfall. Plow the land deep using a tractor or a carabao attached with a plow to turn over soil and bury weeds as well as the remains of the previous crops, allowing these materials to be incorporated into the soil and to be decomposed. The next step is to harrow the fields twice at one to two week intervals. This allows for the decomposition of weeds and stubbles. This is done to smoothen the soil surface. Once a finer texture is achieved, the field is almost ready for planting. Disc, and we'll hit our stalks. Generally, if we're going into corn stalks, we'll hit them early, like um, s about a week before we think we're going to plant. Um, I like to get a good weed that sod and get the alfalfa torn up. And then <clears throat> you'll let it sit for a couple weeks because that will give you the chance that ground fast. Um, this past year we had to also make a tillage pass just before planting to try to set weeds back and give the crop another leg up on the cover. For hybrid variety, plant one seed per hill or two seeds per hill for open pollinated varieties, OPV. Seeds should be spaced at 25 centimeters apart, then covered with rows at 75 centimeter spacing between rows. After furrowing, fertilizers can be applied as basal. Applying fertilizer at basal stage or before planting would help in the early stage of the corn plant. This provides the nutrients needed by corn during the early stage of growth. However, application of fertilizer can also be done at 7 to 10 days after planting or once seeds have germinated. Late application of fertilizers will slow down the growth of the corn and the yield may decrease due to the lack of nutrients theme among organic farmers was avoiding planting right before a rain, which can cause weeds to germinate quickly in the upper soil profile, giving them a jump on the crop. Delay the planting enough time so that the crop emerges faster than the weeds. You want the crop up. The sooner you can get the crop out of the ground. Quickly um, and keeping the topsoil more dry and and goes against the conventional theory of plant right before a rain. You know, hurry up and plant before it rains. It's kind of... Controlling weeds can be done as needed, simply by spraying herbicide into the field. Weeds can be controlled either before they germinate by applying pre-emergence herbicide or after they germinate on the field by applying post-emergence herbicide. Side dress is needed before tasseling stage. This is done about 25 to 30 days after planting. Apply fertilizer 5 centimeters away from the base of the corn plant. As much as possible, cover the fertilizer with soil. Atlas Fertilizer's Top Dress 17017 provides nitrogen and potassium, plus sulfur, calcium, and chlorine. It can strengthen the corn plant's resistance to pests, diseases, and enable the plant to survive unfavorable weather. Applying side dress too early or too late can result to a reduced harvest. Pests and diseases can be prevented by monitoring the fields regularly. Regular monitoring is important for early detection of pests and diseases to avoid crop damage and eventually yield. At the instance of a pest and disease occurrence, consult an agronomist on how to address the problem. Thank you.